High atop world headquarters here at Channel 4 via the News Tucson Tower Cam. Uh, Sean, you cracked me uh, up. Yes, as you know, JP, I, uh, <laughs> I did my own research on the weather today. I just went out the door there, and yeah. the air is thick. You that's my you that's my forecast. You know, here. you can smell the <laughs> rain in the air, you can taste it, yeah. but Tucson is kind of striking out today. We had one lone storm kind of roll through the far east side of town. That's about it. We're going to try it again edges, tomorrow. Some of the edges it's got hit. Some of the edges yeah. of town, the outskirts of town, did get hit, but just uh, enough to mess up your hair. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> and, the humidity. <laughs> you, you're definitely feeling that. That's for sure. But we have a good shot of storms over the next couple of days. And Sean, I know you briefly mentioned the super moon coming up tomorrow. Um, let's take a little deeper look at that. It will be rising. In Tucson here tomorrow, right around 7:07 p.m. Now that's right before the sun sets, so it should make for a pretty good photo opportunity. Of course, the super moon appears about 14% bigger, 30% brighter. Unfortunately, though, that brightness will interfere with the Perseid meteor shower, which also peaks over the next few nights. But you know what? Even with that uh, light, you may still catch a few shooting stars if you're up early in the pre-dawn hours of August 11th through 13th. Now on a normal dark night, you can see about 50 shooting stars per hour during the Perseus, but that will be kind of dampered by that bright uh, waning gibbous moon over the uh, next couple of nights. But let's take a look at some viewer photos today. Speaking of the moon, check this shot out from Wendy Dunham. You can see that bright moon glow uh, glowing off those cumulus clouds. Just a great shot there and really all around Beautiful picture sent in today. This one from Alan Krasowski. I think he's on the west side of the Tucson Mountains there. Great shot there. And then one more here. Look at this glow caught by Claudia Brunette. Always some great shots. And if you get any photos over the next couple of days, there's going to be some great op photo opportunities. So share them on our Facebook page so we can get them on air and share them with everyone else. So let's take a look at the skies now. Your Doppler radar still picking up on some good showers and storms late tonight. Now here's those storms that tried to roll off the Catalinas and the Rincons over the past hour. Unfortunately, they hit the lower elevations and just kind of died down. But you may have caught a uh, quick downpour on the far east sides of town. It looks like we're still tracking some good storms off towards uh, the Benson, uh, Wilcox, Elfrida area. This is that uh, good, steady, moderate rain coming down. And it looks like that's moving over some of these same areas that have been hit hard earlier this evening. Uh, that's including you, Sierra Vista. I had reports come in over an inch of rain for some of you. And yet as those showers continue to drift off to the southwest, you could see some more rain uh, throughout the night tonight. So you're still underneath an aerial flood advisory until 1115. That's letting you know that those washes are flowing and those roadways are slick. So be cautious out there. We'll zoom out, show you what's going on here. High pressure set up in a decent position to get that moisture our way. And it's going to continue to move over to the four corners over the next couple of days. And as it does, I think that moisture content will really be on the rise for us. And I think even here in Tucson, we'll have a pretty good shot at storms to round out your weekend. And then even more so as we head on into the start of this upcoming work week, see a lot more green popping up on the map for us. So over the next couple of days, we'll put your monsoon prediction index at about a three out of 10 for uh, tomorrow here in Tucson. And we're going to jump it up a little bit each afternoon. I think by Monday afternoon, about a four out of 10. And then on Tuesday, Wednesday, I think that's when that moisture really peaks for us. So I think those will be our busiest days uh, for the monsoon coming up uh, for this upcoming week. And check these, uh, these temperature contrasts out. Look at this, where that heavy rain was falling all day long across Cochise County. You're in the low to mid 60s. We're still in the mid to upper 80s here in Tucson. And then you look at Phoenix, and they're still stuck near that triple digit mark. Uh, definitely jealous uh, up there. But let's take a look at your next seven days. Here we go. We'll keep that isolated, the scattered storm mentioned around well into next week. I think the two busiest days, Tuesday and Wednesday, and those daytime highs really not all too bad, about mid to upper 90s. Rebecca.